And you're not supposed to go out and try to change anyone. Those who are already enlightened, they're already advanced, they realize what happens, what's happening now, they're already there. You don't have to worry about it. The other ones that are so deep into negativity, we're not going to be able to make a difference anyway. They have to find their own way. We're not supposed to convert anyone. It's the ones in the middle that are not sure which way they want to jump. Those are the ones we have to reach, the ones we have to talk to about that things are happening, things are changing, and we're moving into this totally new world. Man has destroyed civilizations down through time, and each time, it's usually with the, the bad use of their mind, the misuse of the powers of their mind, and each time, they'd start all over again from the beginning and create a totally new civilization, a new world. They said, there's no longer time for that. We can't do it. We can't waste that time. So this is part of the developing of our psychic powers, bringing that back, changing this because we're going to carry it on instead of destroying the world and starting all over again. That's why we're having all this chaos and problems right now as the two try to decide and separate and shift. So it's a very important time we're in right now. And there's many souls that are coming in right now to be here for it. They volunteered to come. They were, the call went out throughout the universe, volunteers to come and help. They have to be souls that are pure, that have not known violence, have not have no karma to repay, to come in and help raise the consciousness of those who are here. And these people don't know they're one of these. I find it out in my work, but they have no idea on the conscious level they are one of these who has volunteered to come and to use their energy to help raise the consciousness of the world. And I've been told it's working because now the positive is beginning to overshadow the negative. And we are moving into a new world and it's beyond anything you could expect. But it's too late to turn back now. It's in the process and it is happening. Maybe others won't understand it, they won't believe it, but it's your truth. Don't give your power away to anyone. Think for yourself, ask questions. And then I think you'll arrive at the same conclusion I have. Everyone is one, we're all connected together. Everything is all connected, all of nature, all of the environment, all of the people. There is no good, there is no bad. It's only energy being used in different directions. I am not an individual, I am part of everything. And when you break us all down, we're love. Because that's how we were created. Everything goes back to love. Love is the answer to everything. And as I said a while ago, if there is love, there is, will be no wars, there will be no violence. People would understand each other. Love is the total essence of everything. Once you find your passion, it becomes all-consuming. But also, once you find your passion and you're on the path doing what you're supposed to do, I don't get sick, I don't hurt, because your body is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And I feel I have many years of this left. I have many more books to write. There's just so much knowledge, and every time I think I've heard it all, I've got it all, I get another piece of information. So I know there's worlds out there that I haven't even explored. So I love my life. I love what I'm doing. I love the traveling and the le lecturing and reaching people. I wish everyone could find their calling and what they really want to do. It's so important. You find what you want to do. You're glad to get up in the morning and go and do it. Too many people are miserable because they're caught in something they don't want to be in. But I think I have found what I'm supposed to do. It's not what I would have expected I would have done back when I was raising a family and everything. But your life goes in the direction it's supposed to if you follow it and go with it. And I guess that's what I've done because I'm happy with it. Find the thing that you really want to do more than anything. 
I have clients that come to see me who say they hate their job so much they want to commit suicide. No job is worth that. They feel trapped. I said, you can always find another job. They said they feel trapped in what they're doing. They can't get out of it. There's always a way. A lot of them say, well, they don't do it consciously, but they'll say, well, I can always have a heart attack. That'll give me a good excuse to get out of my job. I don't have, can't go to work if I'm sick. But see, people put themselves in these positions, in these situations to where they are trapped. You don't have to be that way. You can find your passion. I always ask the client, what is it you really want to do? If you're not happy in your job, if you're not happy with your life, what do you really want to do? And they'll talk about it, but they say, I can't do that. There's no money in it. Oh, there's no future in it. Everybody thinks I'm crazy if I want to quit my job and take up painting, or if I want to quit my job and be a healer, and uh, there's no money in it. They have to stay in the rat race. But are you going to listen what everybody else says? Or are you going to listen to your heart? Because otherwise you are going to stay sick, you're going to stay miserable. To find what it is you really want to do, maybe there isn't any money in it, but is it what is it you want to do? And that's why I try to encourage people to find. I think it was Joseph Campbell that said that, find your passion. You find your passion, you'll be happy.